Something is robbing the cradle. I think we've got a snake, so we've made a little trap. Hey, it's Wendy at Chickawoo Ranch, and I am back in the Icelandic coop. So we were meaning to do an update on the Icelandic, so this is where I'm at. I'm in the Icelandic coop. We have had silkies and ducks in and out of here, but uh, we've been bedding the Icelandics down in here at night, and we have had a hen go broody. And she is a mad mama. Let me show you. So, this is one mad mama. She has gone broody, and uh, we let her have about seven eggs once we realized she was broody. And I do my usual marking, date them so that we know if any of the other girls are laying with her that that we know which ones we are letting her set on and hatch out. Well, she looks quite happy and content now, but let me show you. Oh my. Hey. Hi. Hi. Hey. There we go. There we go. So she's got a couple of eggs under there right now. Yeah, see? Oh. She is mad. Well, turns out she wasn't mad enough. This is her second location. Her first location was up top here in the coop. We had a little box, nesting box, and she was quite happy and content in there. And one morning I came out and we started her with seven and then there were five. So, no, sorry. She had seven eggs, and one morning I came out and there were two left. The irony of that is one of them was one that I'd marked on, and the other one was a brand new egg. She was still setting, but just two eggs left. So upon making sure the kids didn't make any mistakes and they know anytime I ride out an egg, if they would, you know, try and bring it in, collect it, that, you know, they would know, no, nope, put it back, leave it there. She's setting on them. Well, those two eggs are now gone. What you just saw is, like I said, her second location. She's, she's down here, whereas she was up. Hi. Oh. She was, she was in the, in the apartment up above. So she has moved her location. I don't know if, if she's, if there's any reason, but we have what we think is another snake robber. So we're gonna set a little trap for our robber and see if we can catch him. So I'm in the upstairs apartment now, and this is where she was in her little cardboard nesting box. And we start with seven eggs, and two, and then the two were gone. So since we've encountered snake robbers before, it gave us an idea. We had a snake that got into our chick brooder in the barn when we bought meat birds. Well, the very next day, checking on our meat birds, I knew it before I even got close. There was a rat snake that had climbed in, well, climbed, crawled in uh, to the brooder, and it devoured five baby chicks, five of them. Well, he was so fat that he couldn't get back out. We had chicken wire just on the front of it, so it was large enough for him to get in, but after dining on a meal of five, he couldn't get back out. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna start with this. I don't know if the holes are just the right size, too big, 
what this is where we're starting at. We're gonna use this box, a um, little bit of uh, leftover scrap wiring. It still has some holes in the side. And uh, the important thing is, is we're going to leave it on its side because I don't wanna have to investigate and tip the box over to see if I've got one. So we're gonna lay it on its side. We're going to bait our trap. So put an egg in here. Hopefully one will do it. I don't know, there's lots of factors, but, but the main idea is it will go in, it will be too big to get out in a timely manner. It may be stuck in here for a while. So that's what we're hoping. So we'll leave it up here, except we do have another problem now, dear, is we have chickens down below with eggs. So I guess we won't be letting them sit on any eggs while we're setting our trap. That's right. Right? That's right. So we don't want him collecting a meal from all levels of the condo. Okay. So I'm going to bait the trap, um, basically put one egg in here and uh, sacrifice an egg and see what happens. So we're going to drop it in here, zip tie it closed, and like I said, hopefully um, we'll catch him. And because he dined on five and one meal, we figure he's not a small thing. So. <laughs> Yeah, have to put the camera down. So we've got it set. We'll set it up there. And if we catch our robber, be sure to check our Instagram channel because we'll post a photo. Right here, right? No. Just let him out. No. Yeah, I got chosen to ride jump seat so I could keep my feet on the lid to keep him in. See my windows down? It comes out, I'm going out. <laughs>
<laughs> Gnarly. <laughs> Did you know snakes eliminate? <laughs> <laughs> That's some of the egg right there. I don't know. Oh, here comes oh. more. culprit because there's the proof we got eggshells in the elimination.